Mate, we're the Tatalia family, and today we're making eye fillet with mush potato and honey carrots. And this meal is perfect when you're lacking in iron, like my mate Corey here. What are you talking about, mate? I have this with my cereal in the morning. I agree, this is a good breakfast. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is going to cut up these potatoes. Now, Corey, I like to soak my potatoes in water. Get Wash some off of that, all that starch. starch out of there. Do you know what the perfect potato is for mashed potato, Corey? What? I don't know, I was asking you. <laughs> Get that okay, so heat. now we're going to transfer it onto the hob. Now, you always want to use cold water, Corey, to start the boiling process. You never want to cook the potato in hot water. Root vegetable, always start with cold water, never boiling water. Don't want to shock the potatoes, you know? Make sure they're fully covered. Perfect. Bring them to a boil, and you've got to make sure the potato's nice and tender. Then you know they're cooked. Best way to do that is get your knife, and just jab it in there. When it's nice and soft, you know the potatoes are cooked. Going to get started on this eye fillet. We've left this one to marinate overnight in our usual spices. 15, 20 minutes left to rest with the marinade on is fine. So the main reason you want to rest the meat is get it up to room temperature before you go putting it on that searing pan. Otherwise, the meat's just going to tense up. So here we've got a combination of smoked paprika, onion powder, pepper and salt. Rubbed it up, a nice bit of mustard, lay it over that beforehand. It's perfect, ready to go. OK, so we've just drained our potatoes, straight back in the pan, a little bit of heat, and we want to start mashing straight away. The main reason you want to get in early while the potatoes are nice and hot is if you leave them to cool down a little bit, they're going to go all gluey and stodgy and they won't be any good. All right, Corey, you want to chuck in that butter and cream? Yep. First thing. Ooh, that's some nice thick cream. Beautiful. Generous amount of salt. Good sprinkle of pepper. Still, nice and fresh. The consistency we're looking for, Corey, today is nice, smooth, and creamy. We don't want lumpy mashed potato. All right, Corey, this is looking beautiful, nice, creamy, rich. Now it's time to get that eye fillet on, mate. It's good to me. All right, it's time to cook these steaks. Get the fry pan on, griddle, red hot. Corey likes to season the meat really close. I'm opposite. I like to season mine up nice and high. Demonstration. Get a better... Makes a better mess on the bench as well, you know. Do that. Get it on. Definitely want to hear that searing sound. We're going to do each side about two minutes each side. Get it nice and charred up. Halfway through, if you want to turn them around, so you can get the, you know, the cross-charred grill on. It always looks better on the meat. OK, we've had two minutes on the fry pan. We're going to get ready to turn it. Make sure it's nice and caramelised on that side. Up, mate. Perfect. You always want to show a lot of respect to the meat. You know, treat it right, make it nice and gentle, and then it'll be nice and tender when you go to eat it. What's wrong with my hair? Look at that. <laughs> Something wrong with it? <laughs> okay, we've had four minutes, two minutes each side. These are ready to go on the tray into the oven. So we'll take them off the heat. All right, Corey, it's been four minutes. Let's get this steak out of the oven yep. and let it rest for 10 minutes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Leave that to sit there for 10 minutes. Ready to plate. OK, now that meat's been resting for 10 minutes. Beautiful. We're going to plate up. Get it on the plate, eh? I'm looking forward to this. That. That's my type of breakfast any day, Corey. Perfect. So here we have our perfectly cooked eye fillet, mashed potatoes, honey, carrot and peas. For the full recipe, head over to familyfoodfight.com.au.